Assalamu alaikum my dear students. Hello, how are you all? Hope you are doing fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to NIV's home school and this is Arful Islam, Assistant Teacher of English, National Identity Innovation School, Morning Shift. Today I am going to take uh, an English second paper class for class 6 students. Our today's topic, Write from Verbs, Part 3. And this is the last class of your before it okay so let's see class 6 subject english second paper topic right from verbs part 3 and the last uh, part we are discussing today lecture 6 is the blue will be 5 so there's a correction your hw will be 5 <laughs> lecture 6 hw will be 5 term annual Teacher Ariful Islam, <coughs> Messenger Ariful Bari, and this is my mobile number. So, my dear students, let's start the class. <coughs> to define structure, if plus present indefinite tense plus future indefinite. What is this? Let's see. If after if comes present indefinite tense after if if comes present indefinite tense we will do this clause in future indefinite tense or we write in this way <coughs> if plus present plus future so after if if present indefinite tense come present tense calm or you can say present indefinite calm we will do future tense next class so let's come here if he works so after if present indefinite comes so we will do this class future indefinite tense so if he works at he future indefinite tense after subject comes shall or will and we know after shall or will always we put present form of verb so he will shine in life if you run in the rain so after you again present indefinite comes so we will make it future indefinite so you will catch if you run in the rain you will catch cold <coughs> next 26 structure if plus past indefinite plus past conditional subject plus would could might plus present form of the verb extension and look so if after if comes past indefinite tense if past indefinite tense come we will do this class into past conditional so what is past conditional look at these words subject plus would could might plus present form of the verb this is past conditional so after if if past if it come we will do it past conditional what is past conditional after subject would could might will come so would could might anyone uh, of the three you can take only one so if he came i would and would is the model of the verb after would the base form of verb present form of verb we will do, put up next sentence if there will be i if i ha had a typewriter i dash type myself you might uh, feel that this is past perfect tense no after if had comes no past participle of main verb so this is past indefinite tense so if i had a typewriter after if past indefinite comes we will do it Past, past conditional. What is past conditional? After subject come would and present form of verb. I would type myself. 27. A plus past perfect tense plus perfect conditional. Subject plus would could might have plus past participle of the verb. So, <coughs> can you please come here in this room? This is called perfect conditional subject would have would have might have after subject we will put 
would have, could have, might have. And we know after have, we put past participle of verb and then extension. So this is called perfect conditional. So after if, if past perfect come, we will do perfect conditional after the subject. What is perfect conditional? After subject come, would have, could have, might have, past participle of the verb. So if I had seen him, past perfect tense, after if, we will do it perfect conditional. What is perfect conditional? After subject come, would have, could have, might have, and after have, we put past participle of verb. If I had seen him, I would have told him the matter. If you had started earlier, after if past participle come, past perfect come, so we will do it. You can give might also, no problem. You might have caught. You might have caught. If you had started earlier, you might have caught the bus. Okay. Rule number 28. <coughs> Head plus subject plus past participle form of the verb. Perfect conditional. Subject would put might have past participle of the verb. Okay. okay. Had I been a king. So if a sentence starts with had, we have to put perfect conditional after the subject. Well, let's see. Look, this sentence is a. Uh, uh, if I give uh, I before the subject, it will be past perfect tense. So if past perfect tense come before, we will do perfect conditional after the subject. So had I been a king. You can remember also in this way, if the sentence starts with had, we will do perfect conditional after the subject. So, I would have. Had I been a king, I would have. After have, past participle of the verb. Had I possessed worse property, I dash establish a college. It starts with had, we have to do perfect conditional. So, would have established established okay so if the sentence starts with had we will do perfect conditional after the subject next rule e plus noun pronouns plus where plus noun pronoun might would could present form of the verb let me say clearly if the sentence starts with sub e plus subject plus where if i were a bird if the sentence starts with E plus subject plus where, we will do past conditional. What is past conditional? Subject plus would, could, might, and based form of the verb. So if I were a bird, you can write, I would fly. If I were you, I not do this. So E plus subject plus where, what we will do? Past conditional or after subject comes would, could, might, base form of the verb and extension. 30. When the verb implies progression involving a period of time or a point of time, it is framed in the present continuous tense. We know if a sentence has for or since, and if the sentence presents a duration of time or a period of time, we will do present perfect continuous tense. So what is the structure of present perfect continuous tense? After subject come have been or has been. So I have been reading. So if a sentence has for or since, we will make it, we will do it present perfect continuous tense. It dash rain since morning. So here since and the point of time. So we have to make it present perfect continuous tense. It after it has will come. It has been raining. It has been raining since morning. 31. When have has had get go is used as a causative verb. It takes past participle form of the verb after it. So if have has had get got is used as a causative verb. What is a causative verb? Causative verb means this verb doesn't work. This verb done the work by others. I got the work by him. So this verb doesn't do the work. 
So if this verb comes, we will make it after uh, after this verb past participle form of the verb. So I got the work done. Why done? Because got here has been used as a causative verb. I had my rice dash. So I had my rice. I didn't cook. If uh, this subject did the work, uh, this could be say I did the work. I cooked. But this verb had doesn't do the work. That's why we have to make it past participle of the verb as had is a causative verb. If causative verb comes, we have to make past participle of the verb. I had my rice cooked. I hope you have understood. Next rule. <coughs> if a verb occurs after the adverb list, it takes should might before it. So he ran fast list. So if a verb occurs after the adverb list. If list come in a sentence, we have to give after subject should or might. We can give it should or we can also give it might. And do you know, after should, might, we do present form of the verb. So, miss. So, he ran first, lest he should or might miss the train. If list come, list adverb come, we have to put after subject should might. After should might, base form of the verb. This rule is very easy. Uh, I do not read this. While is a preposition. If after while verb comes, we have to do ing of the verb. While walking. If after while verb comes, we have to do it ing of the verb. And if after while subject comes, we have to do it past continuous tense. So, while he was walking. So, very easy. After while, if verb come, we have to make ing of the verb. And after while, if subject comes, we have to make it past continuous tense. <coughs> this rule also very easy. The color of his eyes, I do not read this. The color of his eyes, dash blue. So, we put this verb according to the subject. In this sentence, which one is subject? Eyes, the color. If of come in a uh, sentence, before of, this is the subject. So in this sentence, the color is the subject. That's why the verb will be is. The players in the field dash uh, strong, B. B means am, is, or was, well. So the players, this will be are. Why? The subject is plural. If the subject is singular, we have to put singular verb. <coughs> <coughs> if the subject is plural, we have to give plural verb. The subject implying length, amount, distances are singular in number. 50 miles implying length, amount, distances. So, we have to do it singular verb. <clears throat> this one is very important. If a sentence starts with introductory there, so <clears throat> we will put the verb according to the noun after there. So how many high, high school? A high school. We have to put here is. Why a high school? So is. There are two high school. How many high schools? Two high schools. So we have to give R. My dear students, I hope you have understood the rules so much I have covered. Next do the SW. <coughs> Homework 5, summit on Sunday. Fill in the blanks with the appropriate right form of verbs. Number 1, if you work hard, you dash, bracket, prosper in life. Number 2, if I had enough money, I dash, help the poor. If I were king, I dash, help the poor. I had my math, dash, solve. I, if you had started earlier, you dash, catch the bus, Ridita read attentively list, Ridita read attentively list, <coughs> there will be she. She fell in the exam. <coughs> 7. We should dash, follow the rules of health. While I walk, someone called me. There be, in the bracket, two colleges in your uh, village. Number 10, 
Had I been a poet, I dash write a lot of poems. So my students, <laughs> I'm repeating 36 again. <laughs> the verb after introductory there is determined by the NP that follows it. So, <clears throat> if a sentence starts with introductory there, the verb, we, we will use the verb or put the verb according to the noun after there. So, there, a high school. How many high school? A high school. That's why we are using is. A high school, we are using a, is. There, dash two high schools. How many high schools? Two high schools. That's why we are using here R. Okay? So this is your SW. <coughs> so my students, do your SN SW at home and submit on Sunday within 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. in the school library. You will also collect those copies on Sunday within 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. in the school library. You know your SW is very important because we are giving SBS, CT and diary mark on the basis of the submission of your SW copies. And we are giving 2.5 mark is of the SW. And this is your uh, last class of before ETH. So your guardian or anyone else can come to school for collecting and submitting the SW copies. That's all for today. Keep practicing at home. Have a great parents. Stay safe, stay well. See you again. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum.